Hi everybody, Ricky here. Today I'm going to try some Hello Fresh Onion Crunch Chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans and a Honey Dijon sauce there. Here's what the card looks like that has all the ingredients and everything that comes with the meal. Gonna read it and take a look at it. it. Says onion crunch chicken with mashed potatoes, roasted green beans, and honey Dijon dressing. Has 12 ounces of potatoes, crispy fried onions, fourth cup of Monterey Monterey Jack cheese, 10 ounces of chicken cutlets. So what I do like is the chicken does come pre-cut up and all that. That's something I do like about all these meals. So a lot of the prep work is done in it. There's some things you do still got to cut up and stuff, you know, just to keep it fresh. But especially like the meat already being cut up, that does save you a lot of time, you know. <laughs> 1.5 ounce of honey Dijon dressing, 6 ounces of green beans, 1.5 tablespoons of sour cream. Another thing that's awesome about it is you got a thing down here that's called Hello Custom. And you can add like extra stuff to it, like if you want to not have chicken. Like on this one, you could add salmon instead. Of course, I wanted to go with the chicken option, so I went with that. Plus, you can buy like extras and stuff, extra meat and everything else there you can think of. So even without just customizing what's on the card, you could customize something else there too. I mean, you could even put a steak with this or something actually. <laughs> You just bought it on there so that's kind of cool here's the back of the card here and what it looks like yep just take a look at it and see what it says hello fresh crispy fried onions yeah Crush up the timeless topper, mix it with some cheese, creates next level crunch chicken. That just happened. Shake and bake. You need to bust out two small bowls, a medium pot, a strainer, paper towels, baking sheet, potato masher, and then also items that don't come with it that you need is some kosher salt, black pepper, olive oil, and butter, which I always get the Kerrygold butter because that butter is just super good. That's my always recommendation and my go-to butter out there is Kerrygold butter, Irish butter at its best. Yep, but that's the title card, so let's get checking the ingredients and see what they look like, and we'll get cooking it, and then try it out when it's done. <laughs> Here's the packaging it comes in. They're usually pretty much in paper sacks, minus the meat. But this is what it comes in. So we'll open this seal up that they seal. And see what the ingredients look like. Here's the chicken breast it comes with. Cutlets. And all the other ingredients out of the bag here. Yep. Get all those fresh green beans and those potatoes, sour cream, the dressings, and the cheese. 
So that's all we're going to need to make the meal, so let's get started. Yeah! <laughs> I just washed the potatoes, and I washed the green beans. So now what it wants me to do is cut these into half inches, which... Half an inch is probably about like that. So I'm just going to slice it up about half an inch. Wants it to be diced into squares. So I'll start by cutting it like that. So it's just kind of cubed up. And I'll do that the rest of this potato here. Just turn it that way. There we go. Got some half inch cubes there and I'll pretty much continue doing this with all the potato till it's all diced up coming along with the potatoes here so you can see I uh, Got most of them diced up. Just finishing up on this last potato here, and then I'll have all the potatoes cubed up and ready to go. Then I can move on to the green beans and get trimming those. And we'll have that step ready. <laughs> Potatoes are done now, pretty much all diced up. Now I can move those over to the side and bring in the green beans. The green beans still kind of have stems right here, so I'm going to need to trim the stems off per the instructions. So I'll move some of these over here. And just kind of trim a little of the ends off on the green beans. And then I'll throw the stems and ends of the green beans in the trash. And then as soon as I get all those done, then I can move on to the next step. So I'm going to trim all these and get those done. The green beans are now done. And as you can see, I got the ends of them trimmed off. So the next step that it wants me to do is to take a small bowl and take these crispy onions and crunch them up pretty much into little crumbs pretty much all they are just french fried onions <laughs> which they always go good with green beans go good with like almost anything these Crispy French fried onions. Very good though. Now that I'm getting it all crunched up. It's pretty much what we're going to coat the chicken with. That's why it wants me to crunch it up into little pieces. So it comes more like a coating.
And then I'm going to open it. Pour it in there. So you can see it looks more like breadcrumbs now. <laughs> but tastier. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the Monterey Jack cheese, open that up, and mix that in there too. If I can get all the cheese to come out of there. <laughs> Then I'm going to stir it up till it's evened up. Melted cheese with French fried onion crumbs. Yum! <laughs> yep, I can already tell this is going to be good. <laughs> the next step just moved on to the next step just now and I put the potatoes in a pan got it with water two inches above like it said and already added in some kosher salts and then I'm going to let that cook for a bit and then I can move on to the next step and get the chicken ready and prepped and coated up. Cooking the potatoes right now for 15 to 20 minutes per the instructions. Then it wants me to keep a quarter cup of the potato juice from the water to mix back in there with the other ingredients to make the mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to get the chicken ready. It wants me to put coat both sides with pepper and salt. So I'm gonna put a bunch of cracked pepper right here. And I'm going to take some salt, salt it up real good, and then now I can start coating the top and the bottom of the chicken. And now I can move on to the next step. I now got the chicken on a cooking sheet. Next step, I need to put some of this honey Dijon mustard in a small bowl. So, I'm going to take a small bowl. Usually I have to slice this open. I notice that with these clear plastic ones more, they don't open as easy. So I usually just take a knife and open them. It's just so much easier. And just pour that all in there. Try to get it all out of there. It wants me to only add like a tablespoon per piece of chicken. The rest of it I think is going to be for when it's ready. So now I'm going to take a little bit on a spoon. And just kind of drizzle it on the chicken. It's going to help the uh, cheese 
and the French fried onion stick to it better. So I don't contaminate the spoon. I'll probably just take me a little knife right here and just kind of spread it on there. Kind of like that. Has egg in the honey Dijon mustard. That's why it's going to be good to make it stick on there. Because a lot of batters and breadings that go on chicken they usually or have egg wash and then they put that and then it makes it extra sticky so it'll stick on there now i just need to put the bread coating on top now i can start putting this coating on top it says to layer mounds of it on there, so that's what we're gonna do. It's going to be so good. Anything with a lot of cheese and french fried onions on it is like a crust. You already know that's gonna be good. <laughs> yup. Look at all that goodness, all that cheese. It's one thing I always keep plenty of in the refrigerator is plenty of cheese. You always need some cheese in the house. <laughs> cheese makes about every main course meal better. That's for sure. <laughs> yep, that's looking totally good. <laughs> yum 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 next step is to take these green beans from earlier and I'm going to put them over here on the opposite side of the tray just kind of space them out a little bit by each other after that, I'm going to put some olive oil on there. Then after that, we can get it in the oven. Okay, I got that there. And now, it says put some pepper on the tray. a little bit of flavor to it and let's take some olive oil oil olive oil and just a little up on there there we go getting drizzled now this is all ready so i can throw it in the oven and get it cooking while the chicken and the green beans are cooking now i need to make the mashed potatoes and here's some curry gold to add to it yum 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 so i'm gonna need two tablespoons worth so I'll take two tablespoons there and just kind of plop it in there going to also add the sour cream hopefully this one will open you I think it's got a perforation right there or it usually does yep there it is 
I don't know, these always open easier than the other ones for some reason. Going to mix the butter around in there now. Try to get it to melt. Usually if you kind of put it into smaller pieces, the butter will melt faster. Kind of just get it all coated around in there. Yum, yum. Do I get this butter to melt, then I can put some pepper in there too and salt. And then I'll mix a little bit of that potato juice in there. I can go ahead and pour the potato juice in there. Here's the potato juice. <laughs> Give it that extra potato y flavor since the juice came from the potato to begin with. It's kind of a good idea to give. You know, it, it's extra flavoring, saving some of the potato juice while draining it. It's making it already look real creamy, too. <laughs> and it's probably helping that butter melt down because it looks like that butter is getting melted down now. So now we can pepper it up a little bit. Salt it up a little bit. Get mashing. It's kind of the fun part of it, I guess. Mashing it up into mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, potatoes, mash them up. <laughs> Make them so good, cause potatoes are good with everything <laughs> yep and while the chicken's cooking we're getting a stone in the green beans getting so close to being done with the meal <laughs> gonna be great It is now ready and it's looking really good. Look at that goodness, that, that goodness. Look at that goodness, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the onion crunch chicken there. Got the green beans with olive oil and cracked pepper. Got the mashed potatoes with sour cream and some Kerrygold butter. You gotta have that Kerrygold butter when you're going with butter. That's the best butter on the planet. <laughs> and then got some honey Dijon mustard dipping sauce. Kind of went ahead and cut up the chicken some. That way it'd make it easier to try. So... Let's dig in and get trying it.
think I'm going to try just the piece first, and then I'll try dipping it in the honey mustard Dijon sauce. Mmm. That is really good. <laughs> Got Monterey Jack cheese with those French fried onions as the crust on top. Mm -hmm. So good. Now we're going to go try some dipping sauce. See how that tries. Mmm. Even better. <laughs> That enhances it a whole lot. Of course, I like honey mutter, mustard dipping sauce. I think it goes good with pretty much french fries even and onion rings. That's kind of funny because the french fried onions. Definitely real easy to make too. Can definitely taste those are some fresh green beans that hadn't been in a can or sitting in the freezer or something. <laughs> That's straight some straight to farm the table stuff there big difference i can tell now for some mashed potatoes potatoes Totally good. The recipe calls for with the skin on. I think it tastes good, the mashed potatoes with the skin on. Of course, it's a preference, but the recipe said to just pretty much dice it up and then mash it up. So, it's really good. I could totally make this again and eat it. I mean, restaurant quality. There hadn't been one meal I've tried yet from HelloFresh that it's everything's tasted like it just straight up came out of the restaurant. And whole house is just like smelling so good, like I'm in a restaurant and stuff. So really enjoying that and this meal. Totally recommend this onion crunch with the mashed potatoes and the green beans for reals. <laughs> and always keep cooking, shake, and bake. Ricky out. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Pate. The food way. <laughs>